Hello and welcome to Gladys Cake Kitchen. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to make a simple Christmas themed fault line cake using edible prints. This cake is completed with roses, Christmas themed decorative element. And even though Christmas may be over, the techniques used to complete this cake will come in handy for when you're decorating a celebration cake, especially if you're a beginner looking to master some simple decorating techniques for your themed cakes. This cake may be made to show you a skill or two, but this is also an attempt for me to redeem myself as my first fault line cake failed horribly. So if you'd like to see how I made this stunning themed Portland cake using simple techniques. Please keep watching. The fault line cake begins with a six inch banana cake that is filled with a lightly flavored salted caramel Swiss meringue buttercream. After filling, the cake is evenly layered ensuring the cake is straight standing. It is then left to chill before returning to be crumb coated. To crumb coat the cake, I spread some ganache atop the cake and around the cake using a spatula. I then go in with a scraper to take off any excess and leave the cake to set. For a detailed guide on how to level, fill and crumb coat a cake, please check the playlist in the description box which I will also leave at the end of this video for your convenience. The crumb coated cake is returned and I trimmed the top lip with a warm knife to leave a clean sharp edge. Once complete, I apply a Christmas themed printed edible icing sheet to the cake, ensuring it is glued to the cake. Trex or Crisco is first applied to the cake before attaching the sheet. After the sheet is glued to the cake, I go in with some red buttercream which is spread around the top and bottom of the cake leaving a gap in the middle for the fold line. With a scraper, I take off any excess being careful to maintain the fold line. A little confession if you're watching my videos for the first time, I failed at a fold line cake when I first attempted this for Halloween using a different technique. This went horribly wrong so if you'd like to see that cake, I'll link it up here in the card above you and in the description box for you to check out. Scraping down, I spread and smooth some buttercream on top of the cake, removing any excess for the final time before leaving the cake to set. The cake will then be returned to be painted and decorated. The cake is now returned to be carefully painted. This is done with some edible gold luster dust mixed with some alcohol. I paint along the fault line and on top of the cake, being careful to leave a clean finish. The drips and stray gold paint on the cake is intentional to add a look to the cake. Notice the excess buttercream is left to form a lip on top of the cake. This is also intentional to add a rustic and polished look to the finish of the cake. After painting the cake, I add some roses, some pine pickles, Christmas themed flowers to finish it off. And here is a look at the Christmas themed fault line cake, which is made with an edible print and finished off with some artificial decorative elements. Check the video right here to see how I complete another celebration cake showing you a detailed beginner friendly way to attach your flowers and the playlist next will help you level up your decorating skills with detailed videos on how to level, fill and crumb coat your cake. Wishing you all the best of the new year. Thanks for coming along the journey with me and thanks for all the support. I'll see you in my next video.